This is a message to international countries who contribute to the Global Fund. The financial support you've provided the Global Fund since its creation in 2002 deserves worldwide praise and recognition. Thanks to your pledges of billions of dollars, the Global Fund has supported 600 programs in 150 countries aimed at eradicating HIV, AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis. Your money has been well spent. You have bought 160 million mosquito nets to prevent malaria. You have bought life-saving antiretroviral therapy for 3 million people living with HIV AIDS. You have bought medicine to treat nearly 8 million patients who would have otherwise died from tuberculosis. These steps forward deserve thanks and applause. But this work cannot stop. This work cannot stop. This work cannot stop. In the wake of global financial crisis, many government donors to the Global Fund have gone back on their previously promised budgets. This gap in funding caused the Global Fund to cancel disbursement of grants for the first time since its creation. If you allow a group of healthcare workers to speak as economists, the money you promise to give is not charity. It is not a donation, it is an investment. And considering what times in the past, it's a very important investment. When you consider tuberculosis in particular, the Global Fund accounts for 65% of the international budget for treatment. From the context of growing concern about drug-resistant tuberculosis. Falling back in previously promised funding can be devastating for patients on the ground. This is not a North American problem. This is not an Asian problem. This is not an African problem. It is a global problem. So please, 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 International donors to the Global Fund. Follow through on the investments you promised to make. Don't let all the ground you pay be the fact.